Hey guys, do you remember the RMS Titanic that took more than 1,500 lives of people? Sit back, relax, and you're about to watch what's the truth behind the shipwreck of RMS Titanic. Let's start to the architecture. The RMS Titanic had an unimaginable measurement of 882 feet and 9 inches long, 92 feet wide, and 175 feet tall and with a usable volume of 46,328 tons that proves the Titanic seems indestructible. Because of this ship is huge, people could walk miles long. The Titanic had four massive smokestacks, each of them weighed 60 tons and they extended 81.5 feet above the deck. On its year, the ship cost $7.5 million. If it converted in 2016, the ship would probably cost $166 million. Harland and Wolf Shipyard took on 3,000 men to the ship. Even with a huge labor force working 6 days a week from 6 in the morning, it still took 26 months to complete the monumental task. It was difficult and dangerous work. Imagine doing something at the height of a 20-story building with no safety ropes. Unfortunately, Eight people died during the building process and 246 were injured. And now, let's proceed and talk about what's the causes of the shipwreck. Journalist Senna Molani, he was the one who discovered a huge 30 foot long black spot on the ship. He noticed it after a photo taken on the Titanic. The fire is said to be burning for three weeks at a very high temperature. Metallurgy experts say that this could probably weaken the metal and reducing its strength by 75%. That's why crashing into an iceberg could be no problem to tear a hole to the ship, and coincidentally, it really did. The management of the project knew about the fire. But if the ship would set off that time, it could lead to bankruptcy, since all the tickets are all sold out and everybody wants to sail to the ship. Binoculars could have saved the ship because the time there were no sonar systems and the binoculars is inside a special compartment, wherein that the room is locked and the only person with the key to the locker was second officer David Blair. He was replaced off the last minute he forgot to give the key to the person whom he was replaced. He only remembered when the ship was already at the sea. If that night they have a binoculars, they would have noticed the iceberg and they could have avoided it. Another thing was the speed limit. If they didn't break the speed limit, the crash could have been avoided. But the ship was falling behind the schedule. It could ruin the Titanic's reputation. Another criminal negligence was about the lifeboats. The Titanic needed about 60 lifeboats. The chief designer, Alexander Carlyle, planned to only equip 48 boats. What's more, lifeboat drills were never took place on the Titanic. That morning, before Titanic was shipwrecked, there was a drill, but Captain Edward John Smith canceled the drill. Nobody knows why. In 2012 research, they found Captain Smith had been failed his first exam in navigation, but eventually he passed. On the day of the crash, other ships had been passing on warnings about ice in the water in that vicinity. Another one's the launching of the boats. The launching of the boats took half an hour instead of the standard 10 minutes. Some others passengers blamed Captain Smith for leaving the first batch of the boat half empty. The first boat with 65 seats contained only 27 passengers. In the beginning, people were reluctant to leave the ship and they didn't realize that they are in grave danger. That night, the crew sent several distress signals. However, the Californian, a ship sailing nearby, ignored the emergence flare in the sky. But modern researchers prove that their innocence due to phenomenon of light refraction. This phenomenon creates mirage, and such mirage had been recorded by several other ships sailing in that area. So that's all. 
Like if you've learned something and thank you for watching. This is Marie Samantha Embagon signing off. This photo, photo.